know if I've ever hugged a CEO before, let alone twice. Didn't I see you fake hugging my wife in Monte Carlo? Like, even just for the cameras? And she let me? Uh huh. But you are one. A CEO? Yeah, well, not of much. But all of that is about to change thanks to you. Well, thank you for the drawing. You know, I never thought anything good would happen for me in this office. Hey, if you're looking for a job, HR is down the hall on the left. Have you ever once in your entire life told a joke that somebody laughed at? See if you think this is funny. Brooke isn't here, but if she were, she wouldn't want to talk to you. Mom? <laughs> oh, is this what it's come to? You sleeping till the middle of the day? I'm glad I came to check up on you and Rick. It's your own house. You don't need a reason to be here. I thought I'd stay for a couple of days. Mom, I know. You walked out on Bill. Walk him on. Here's what I don't get. A $50 million debit for what? Where did it go? Now see, this is what happens with people without an accounting background looking at our books. Right, but we bought something for $50 million and all it shows is a letter G? What is that? And look at the date. Dad didn't authorize this. It had to have been Liam. Wait, really? No, but I... Never mind, she's back. So, I heard you were here and then you left. Yeah, you're with Sally Spectra. She's squeezing you like a tube of toothpaste. <laughs> yeah, she is kind of the effusive type. What does she have to effuse about? Well, that's something I want to talk to you about. So, I bought the Spectra building for Spencer. 50 million. Oh, that's pretty steep for some smoking bricks. I know Bill wants it. Yeah, well, it's still standing. I'm sure Bill will be pleased. But why would Sally be? Because I gave it to her. I love you dearly, but this is not something I'm prepared to discuss. Mom, when you grow up in a family full of scandal, nobody tells you anything. But you hear things and you see things anyway. Like the other night, when I saw Dad holding you. You've talked to her? Of course. We talk. I always knew she'd see your true colors and leave you. What's that? A uh, Federal Reserve reference note. Like the 50 million was a wire transfer? Yeah. But based on the date, Dad certainly didn't wire the money. It must have been Liam. Well, here's the account it went to. The account of... Clark Garrison Jr.? It's CJ? Yeah. Hold, hold on a second. We we waited for the Spectra building to burn down to pay top dollar for it? That doesn't make any sense. You paid $50 million for a heap of ashes and you gave it away? I did. Now tell me you see the justice in that. I see 40% tax implications, not to mention- It belonged to the Spectra family, Steffi, and my dad destroyed it. 
If the goal is justice, then the Spectre family should be in jail, Liam. And you had a chance to put Sally there, why didn't you? Wow. What is the need for you to just save Sally Spectra? What I'm saving, my doubting wife, is my father's hide. You look closer to dad last night than I've seen in a very long time. It's fair to say something did change. Is there any chance? That... Don't ask any questions that I can't answer. Well, have you thought about what you're going to do next? Of course. And? It'll come to me. <laughs> Brooke and I are going through a rough patch. But as you know, we're married. I expect you to respect that. We're going to work it out. How's that going so far? Liam used to roll his eyes at Dad's big building plans, but why would he buy Spectra if it already burned down? And you can't tell me Dad went through all these spreadsheets. <laughs> Bill likes flowcharts because he's always the box at the top. Yeah, well, now that's Liam, and I'm in the second best box, as always. Come on. What? What did you find? I'm in the county assessor's open data files looking for title transfers, but he keeps asking me the... Oh, come on. Yeah. He keeps telling me I'm not authorized to view this content. Do you have accounting's password? I might, but, uh... What's UTF-8? That's their database encoding number. You know, do me a favor. Search for the term Spencer. I should give you every first and last Spencer in L.A. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm going to use the lot and parcel number. Yeah. Oh, that's messed up. It says it probably belongs to a Spectra, comma, Sally. Right. We spent $50 million and we don't even own it. Hey, guys. We want to make sure everything's up to code, OK? No shortcuts? Ron wasn't killed in the day, miss. Built. Ron wasn't built in a day. Aw, and take you to the taco truck? Oh, Graham said someone needed to watch the construction guys. To keep them from stealing what, exactly? She having you read her magazine? <laughs> Ugh. Beauty, food, cleaning, bunions. I actually moved on to uh, real estate listings. Are you buying a place? I'm fantasizing. I mean, like, maybe someone will buy me a building. Is that what happened? Kinda. Kinda not. Okay, fine. Be mysterious. Excuse me for doubting Bill feels saved by you. People know, Steffi. You, me, my dad, Justin, whoever they hired to start the fire knows. What happens the next time that guy gets arrested? What's to stop him from trading on that information? It's gonna come out. And when it does, this gift to Sally is gonna be a really powerful denial for my dad. I'm just doing what any loyal son would. It's a bit of a stretch. Yeah, I know. But Sally said she'd pay me back. Okay, you seriously believe that? I'm skeptical too, but she means it. You're like rationalizing a mile a minute. The Spectres would have been packed and gone. Why wouldn't you just let them leave? Because it wouldn't be right. It's like no matter how deep the hole Sally digs herself, there's always someone there to oh. help her out. All right, let me ask you something. Why do you care? Excuse me? Yeah, it's a sincere question. I mean, this is Spencer business. This is my family business. How do the decisions I make in this room affect you? I know that being droll is part of your training. Stephanie used that silver spoon and she fed it to you with your oatmeal and your, your creme fraiche. But please understand that I am deadly serious when I tell you to stay the hell away from my wife. Well, it's too late, I saw her. Where? Here. 
The night you did what you did, and she told me all about it. That's a lie. God, you're right, that is a lie. She didn't want to discuss it. Did she tell you if she's coming into work today? Mm -hmm. Didn't tell me much of anything, but that's the good news about Brooke and me. I, I know her so well. She doesn't have to tell me anything. I know she's done with you. Do you need me to go over to Bill's and get your stuff? I don't mind. <gasps> Honey, oh my gosh, no. This would be the wrong time to act impulsively. And here you are. Yes, I came home. This is what you do when you don't really know what to do. Well, home for me is you, me, and Dad. I know you don't want to say it, but I know you miss it too. I can see you still love Dad. They just haven't updated the website. The county still shows the great aunt owning the building. But look at the filing date. It's the same day as a $50 million draw. Check the title history. Sally Spectra owned it twice? No. Look at the last four of the social. Yeah, different social security numbers. Two different Sallys. But how did it go from one to the next when we paid for it? What about that letter on that printout, like a footnote? G. Yeah. Yeah, it must be keyed into the master doc. G plus gift tax, 40%. This is a gift. Oh, Bill is gonna freak out. Liam bought the property and then just gave it to her? Can I just ask, like, did you do something that's gonna get you or all of us in trouble? Hard as it may be to believe? No. Nobody died and left you a building in downtown LA. This building. Let's just say I found an angel. Or an angel found me. You can't seriously be asking what Spectra Fashions has to do with me and my family. No, that question I know the answer to. Did it ever occur to you to discuss with me that you were going to gift Sally with a $50 million building? Okay, true or false, your relationship with Spectra is basically unchanged from what it was a month ago. This isn't a month ago. Well, I know you're not suggesting we take advantage of a criminal act in order to put Sally out of business. Sally is a criminal act. <sighs> Have you forgotten all the things she's done to my family? Thievery, no, humiliation? No, no, of course not, but it's not my place to redress that. I have an <sighs> ethical obligation to make up for the damage my dad has done, which, as you know, has been going on since the moment Sally hit town. Now, I can't reverse all of my dad's ill-gotten gains, but this time, I can. Okay, so your new title as CEO, this office, those are ill-gotten gains. You don't want to say it's blackmail, then what is it? Sorry you feel that way. I'm sorry you see me that way. Liam, that's not It's it. done, Steffi. It's done. The money is paid, the deed recorded. I don't know what else to tell you. And getting relationship advice from you is like a booking on the Titanic. I think I'll pass. That's probably smart. Hey, tell me something. You're stepping down as CEO because, what, you need an extended vacation? Who said uh, extended? I never used that word. Sorry, my mistake. You said a definite. That's kind of the same. By point of fact, it's a... Uh, it's a leave of absence. Okay, and during this leave of absence, you're putting Liam in charge. You finally found some confidence in that kid? There's more to that kid than meets the eye. It's a lot of moving parts here, Billy, a lot of moving parts. It's complicated. But I don't want to worry about Brooke because she has a shoulder to lean on. Indefinitely. I know I'm a pain. Okay, teenagers, they think they know everything. But it, am I making you sad? No, you never make me anything but proud. I, I promise I'm not trying to matchmake. Just, 
I know what life was like when you were happiest. Dad was here. Uh, hey, bro. Don't bro me. Do me a favor. Mm. You want to talk to me? Check with Allison about what a good time would be. I'm sorry, are you seriously telling me that I have to make an appointment to come and see no. you? I never had to do that for Dad, and I'm certainly not going to start that with you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I should have said that more tactfully. What are you, reading management textbooks now or something? Like... I don't work for you, I'm your brother, remember? No, you're my brother and you do work for me. Listen, you wanna get a beer after work? Cool, but unless you have a specific reason to see me- I got about 50 I've... million of them. I'm sorry, does that, does that number mean something to you? <gasps> a lot of big numbers come across this desk, Wayne. Really? Because Justin and I were going over some figures for the end of the quarter, and that number kind of stood out in particular to me. It's nothing illegal. It wasn't embezzled. It's worse. It was thrown away. You bought Spectra Fashion's building and then you just gave it away to Sally? So you're saying the reason that the cutting room was so stuffy is because of the ducks? Mm-hmm. The ducks were too old and too narrow. Could you guys give me a minute? Well, we are definitely not fit for company, but uh, welcome. Yeah, I saw downstairs. I'm so sorry. It's even worse than I imagined. Yeah, the only good thing about it is that this place stinks of smoke so badly nobody realizes that we're swimming in sweat without AC. Thought you were leaving town. I was. Yeah, uh, but then I thought about my great aunt Sally and her never say die spunk, and I thought, you know, might as well give Spectra one last shot. With my husband's help. Good. Good. Okay, uh, he told you. Of course. Look, you really are the luckiest woman on earth with a man like that. How could you accept that kind of gift? I mean, I said no, but he wouldn't listen. Right, right. Look, Steffi, I don't think of it as a gift. It's a debt that I have to pay back. So you're going to give back, what, $50 million? You know, there are some people that believe in me. I know there are people that believe in you. My brother was one of them. He gave you money, and look what happened there. OK, look, I don't want to fight with you. I'm not fighting with you. I'm just giving you facts. You've proven to me over and over that I can't let my guard down with you. Any more sponging off my family, stealing from my company, I will prosecute. You will have to answer to me. And this time, you will pay. <laughs>